I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Brahmins, it is Monday of the second week of the last nine weeks. Lots of things happening in this short week. Report cards go home. Um, so you should be receiving your report, report card from your here on main campus, your homeroom teacher. Um, and uh, is it fifth hour teacher? No, it's, it's homeroom. It's just third instead of second. Okay, so um, those will go home today. And um, let's see, seniors, um, you have SAT school day this Wednesday. This is going to be the first time for some of you um, to take the new format of the digital SAT. Um, this format, it seems to be well received by those students who have taken it. The text passages are shorter, but it also is going to mean that that you have to have a charged Chromebook this Wednesday when you come take that test. You're going to be in the bus circle at 7.15. Prom tickets go on sale for juniors and seniors again this week. Um, we were going to have three weeks of prom ticket sales. Those tickets are $50. You have to have a 2.0 or higher in order to participate in prom. You also have to have your guest pass already approved and ready to purchase with your ticket. So if you are wanting to bring a guest, remember they have to be high school graduates um, or have their GED or be an active high school student under the age of 21, so 20 years old and younger. Um, also have to be in good standing with the dean's office and everyone, no fines or fees. Um, we're going to take a break from prom sales next week because it's powder puff week, um, but then it'll start back up the following two weeks after that. That's all I have today. Good morning, everyone. If you're an AP student, your testing is rapidly approaching. Um, and the reason why I'm mentioning it now is May is a stacked day-to-day -day testing, not only for AP students, but for other testing that goes on campus between biology, U.S. history, all of those EOCs that we have. But if you are a student who has multiple AP exams, right now what I would do is dig into your college board and look at the time that those exams and the date that they are being administered. I've sent that out to your AP teachers, and I know many of them have started having that conversation. But some of you have multiple AP classes that you are taking, um, two tests on a day. So kind of look at the time that it takes to complete some of those exams. Some of them are upwards of three hours long, just so that you can mentally prepare yourself for the time that you'll be testing in May. I just wanted to mention it because as I've created the testing schedule for that, it's a lot that goes into it and they're almost impossible. And when I say almost impossible, it's like an act of Congress to have to reschedule. And they don't always let us reschedule any exam. It has to be like, I submit a form and all of this information. So I wanted to get that out to you guys just so that you know that that is up and coming within the next month and a half. And then it's, it's over. So <laughs> that's all I've got this morning. Hey, good morning, Brahmins. So Saturday we had a varsity tournament for baseball. Uh, we won one and lost one against St. Albans. All the games were great. Um, tonight we have a full house. We have our, at five, we have softball against South Fork. And then at ah, 6.30, we have girls lacrosse against Pine School and JV baseball against Westwood. What is it? <laughs> Did I have the time wrong? I think lacrosse is at six is what six. I think. Both are at six. Both <laughs> are at six, not 630. Don't listen to me. Um, to buy your tickets, get them now on Hometown Fan. I told you it was coming and it's here. So make sure you're buying those tickets on Hometown Fan um, and then make sure you have your IDs. Um, and just to go build on the 
guest passes, which oh, guest passes, uh, turn them in. I have sent emails for those of you who are already approved. Uh, you can pick up your guest pass from Ms. Garcia here in the office. She'll have those for you. Uh, if you have not turned them in, turn them in. I'm working on them and we'll send out those emails as I get those approvals. Also, like Ms. Meyer said, 20 years or younger, but they have to be a high school student or graduate or have a GED. Um, no middle school students, sorry. And that's all I have for today. Freshmen, so you can get that report card today, right? And, and it has all your grades up until this point. Like it has the first semester stuff too. So here's what I want you to do. If you uh, did not pass, meaning you posted an F for first semester or for your math or your English uh, class, then that should be a reminder to you that you are already enrolled in a credit retrieval section for that class that you should be working on now. Because here's how that works. If that's not completed by the end of the year, then you're gonna get an invitation to summer school to finish it because you have to have four math credits and four English credits to graduate. And so at some point that has to be made up and we're gonna highly encourage, even if you have five credits, highly encourage your parents to go ahead and have you work on that this summer. So it's kind of like a do it now or do it in summer, not do it later, but do it in summer kind of feel to it. So um, if you have that, go ahead and get started on it. So when, when am I gonna do that? I'm in class all day. Well, we have this great thing called tutorial on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's like a solid hour and a half where you could sit and do your credit recovery and then you get your month of June back. So it's a great opportunity. If you haven't turned in a permission slip, then stop by 205. We'll get one in your hands. You can't stay tomorrow, but you can stay Thursday. So if that's something that you need to take care of, get started. Because I've already peaked in Plato, and I know that a lot of you have not. You've not done a single lesson at this point because that is just, you don't feel the sense of urgency. So I need you to get in there and get started on that. Uh, because otherwise we are going to need you to do that in summer school. So just um, take care of it now while you can. Mrs. Kidd? Um, freshman, you all did a great job last week with our ELL review days. Um, you guys were attentive. You asked questions. You were active participants. Thank you so much. We will be doing that again this week, except on Thursday, because there's no school on Friday. So the same drill like last week on Wednesday, uh, your English teacher will tell you your location uh, for the review. And then that's where you'll report to. You won't go to your English class unless your English teacher told you to go to her. OK, so we gave a little bit grace last week because it was new. This week, we should be more into a, um, exactly where we're going when the bell rings, okay? And if you have questions, please ask before um, that class period so we can get you in the right location. And the other thing is, students, as we move into testing season, make sure you have your Chromebook charger. Um, Ms. Ruby does not have extras to loan out. And if you don't have yours, if you lost it, you need to talk to your parents and tell them, hey, I need to buy a new charger so you can come to school prepared and to um, have your Chromebook charged. That was one thing during the sessions that there was a lot of Chromebooks dying by second period. So again, make sure that Chromebook is charged. All great reminders because testing is coming on both campuses. We want to make sure that everyone um, has what they need to do their best in this important season. All right, make it a good one as together we move forward. Be great and be Robins. All day. All day.